Tashi Dalek to everyone. Welcome or welcome back to another lesson video. Today uh, we are going to uh, talk about model verbs. Before that, let us look at these three phrases has to, have to, and had to. Now, has to and have to is used uh, with present tense verb depending on the subject. If it is singular, we use has to, he has to, she has to. As you can see, that the last letter is S, which stands for singular here. Okay, so we, we, we use it with singular verb uh, pronoun like he, she, it. And then have to is used with all the other pronouns which are there apart from he, she, it. And the last one is had to, which is past tense and it can be used uh, with any subject doesn't matter whether it is uh, singular or plural in its nature so you can pause the video and fill the gap fill the blanks which are there in all right so let us do it quickly the first one day so because it is day and because it's happening today they have to right they have to my servant is absent today i have to okay my, her eyesight is weak she has to she is singular has is for singular i can't stay here i have to just go just now you will you will have to after the word will we do not change the main verb so we have will remain there we have to okay likewise last week she now it is last week therefore we have to use past tense verb last week she had to repair her tv she is ill she has to see the picture tomorrow okay she has to see the picture tomorrow because she cannot do it now so in this way you know how we are to fail use has to have to and had to well the uh, these phrases can also be used as model verbs in our uh, normal sentences and before we begin what is a model verb well if you don't know what a model verb is i'm quite sure that this question is not that difficult what is a verb so a verb normally is an action or a state of being and here is an example i can see it so here the main verb is see because you are uh, not actually performing but stating something and then the word can is adding more meaning to the verb okay so can is a model verb a model verb is a is a helping verb which adds meaning to the main verb we use models okay model means model verbs to show if we believe something is certain possible or impossible so when you believe that something is sure to happen something is certain or something is impossible to happen we can use model there for example my keys must be in the car so i'm certain that the keys are there in the car it might rain tomorrow so i'm showing possibility it might rain it might not rain so we're not sure there that can't be peter's coat it is too small so it is impossible to be peter's because the coat is too small for him so you see that there are some model verbs used here to show that you believe something is sure possible or impossible likewise we also use them to uh, do things like talk about ability so when you want to talk about capability or ability uh, when you are asking for permission or making requests or and offers we use small verbs like i cannot swim so here we're talking about his ability am i able to swim no i'm not able to swim so i can use cannot instead of the word able all the time when you're asking permission normally we use the word may dear but these days we can also use the word can can i ask question can i go outside right make request so when you're making request to someone we usually use could could i have some tea please could you pl close the window uh, could you uh, let me uh, what's it use your phone so these are for making requests and the word would when you're offering someone your help like would you like some help would you like to drink a cup of coffee uh, would you like to sit over here if you don't mind so there you are offering the other person things so in short model verbs are also known as auxiliary verbs don't get confused auxiliary simply means helping verb so these verb will go hand in hand with main verbs like fly write read listen talk okay but then these will help the main verb and 
and normally model verbs add meaning right it adds more meaning it add meaning to the main verb we need we know some of the meanings there but then uh, today we'll be discussing only nine model verbs which are the basic and most important ones so uh, the first one is can right which is used to show ability and the past tense of can is could and uh, apart from being past tense of can it also has different usage just like we did discuss now could can be used when you are uh, making a request right could you uh, what's it could you op uh, open the door please right so you are asking for ability with can and could is the past tense of a can here so david david can speak three languages he's able to speak he could speak fluent french when he was five so now we don't know whether he's able to do or not then the word may and can and special and also could uh, may is usually used for asking permission can is used these days and could you can use it as more polite expression so can i sit in that chair please could i open that window may i borrow your dictionary so here when you are asking question we use these model verbs okay especially can and may then when you are giving an uh, giving a piece of advice to someone you know, we know we use the model verb should you should visit your dentist at least twice a year so you are giving advice to the other person you should try to lose weight because you are now gaining it so much you are becoming overweight which is not healthy then the word must and have to we just discussed this word called have words called have to has to have to it is has similar usage with must so you know when to use have to has to just like that you can use must we use it for obligation which means you are under uh, certain rules and you have to obey them i must memorize all of these rules about tenses you have to memorize because if you don't know all these rules about tenses then it will be uh, you will make mistakes in your writing you have to take off your shoes right before you get into the mosque so before you get into the temple you have to remove take off means remove your shoes and there it is your obligation you have to follow it the last one is to show possibility we already discussed it like uh, can and may but then might is also used when you're not asking question might and may is used to show possibility like it looks nice but it looks nice but it might be very expensive right we are not sure it's expensive but there is chance that it will be expensive because it looks very nice richard may be coming to see us tomorrow right he may be coming but are we sure not we are not sure because it's for show possibility right so a type of verb that is used to indicate modality right so what uh, is the usage of model verb it is to indicate modality which means ability request permission capacity obligation it orders requests etc there okay now there are some more examples here with their model verbs on the right side now these are some common mistakes that learners make and that is after model verb you're not supposed to change the main verb even if you're talking about uh, something that had happened in the past we just keep the verb same right tense in can see tense in could see tense in may see tense in might see and i think he should take now he see after this model verb we have used to take right to form which is not acceptable you are only supposed to use the basic form which is take here without to or anything likewise last one is teachers and student must talk so here talking is also another form of the main verb so we will keep the main verb same there is no change in the main verb after our model verbs okay so do not make such mistakes and these are simple thing when you make uh, a negative sentence using model verbs we just use not not after the main after the model verb like he cannot they will not she might may not okay uh, we do not use do not after model verbs like he can do not they will do not she may do not no do not will not be used because we have model verbs and uh, with model verbs we do not use any other form of verb apart from main verb and when we are making a question we need a question mark here so normally whenever you are asking a question with auxiliary verb the helping verb will come at the front okay even if it's a help, another helping verb so would you like to drink water you're asking here question may i sit 
your ring will we ever meet again see so whenever you are asking for permission or making a request or offering so we use uh, this formation which is interrogative in its nature so there are 10 and 8 sentences here try to read them and see what uh, incorrect uh, things there are in the in each sentence so if you want to practice more you can uh, make more than 10 sentences using different model verbs that which we have discussed in case there's a question drop message and questions in the comment box below thank you all